everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on Kavanaugh's Corner, I'm continuing my series of reviews of the Christopher Nolan 4K Ultra HD box set here. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about The Prestige. Now, uh, I decided to go with The Prestige next, mainly because uh, it's the earliest of the Christopher Nolan films, uh, besides Batman Begins. And uh, I kind of wanted to go in chronological order. I did the three Batman movies, and now I'm going to do the rest of them. Um, so I'm starting with The Prestige here. And The Prestige, sadly, is not the best of the box set. Uh, the picture quality, don't get me wrong, it's great. The picture quality is pretty great. The clarity is there. There's some really good clarity on this disc, um, but it seems to be off slightly. Uh, I've watched it, and I gotta say, I really love the movie. I think The Prestige is a masterpiece, and I honestly think that there's really not much more you can do with a movie about magic. I mean, this is a, a, a wonderful, wonderful film, but I do want to say that the 4K version of The Prestige, even though it's the best the movie has ever looked, it's definitely not the best 4K disc out there. But for whatever reason, the HDR in this one seems to be not working as well. I'm not sure why. Uh, the black levels on the disc don't seem to be quite even. And it's not the first one I've run into like this. There's been a couple in the past. Uh, Goodfellas kind of uh, comes to mind when it comes to the black level problems with a disc. Uh, it's not as bad as Goodfellas, but you can definitely notice uh, certain scenes just don't seem to have the quite correct dark, uh, like light and dark levels. It's very strange. There's a good amount of film grain in this as well. I know people that don't like grain in these 4K discs are gonna complain, but honestly, I think this is a fantastic looking movie. You can't take film grain out of one of these discs without ruining the picture quality. So, for those of you that, that don't enjoy grain, you're probably not going to like the Prestige. It is good, and it's definitely a step up from the old Blu-ray disc that we had from a long time ago. Um, I want to say that this disc here is definitely the best that the Prestige has ever looked. The sound mix is basically the same. I didn't really detect anything new and exciting in this sound mix. Uh, it's, it's a 5.1, just like all the others on this set. Nothing too crazy. But I do have to say, the movie does sound great still. Nothing has changed there. The extras on this, uh, again, there are no extras on the 4K disc, but the version that comes with the Nolan set here has its own disc of extras, and it's nice that they're there. They're mostly carryovers from the old Blu-ray, but I'm glad they included them. However, it does leave you wanting more. There is a good amount of stuff on there. They're little featurettes, but I just wish they had done a little more behind-the-scenes stuff in this one. The disc overall is definitely the weakest of the whole Nolan set. If you were to buy it separately, I'd say probably not worth buying, sadly, unless you really enjoy the film. Uh, if you enjoy the movie, it's worth buying on 4K, but if you don't, then I would say probably skip it. The extras disc, however, is something that makes this set a little different. Now, to explain to you what that is, is that the 4K disc that comes in here, each one of the movies that are in here that are on 4K, they have the movie also on regular Blu-ray and a extra features disc. Each one of them has that. It's, it's a bummer, it sucks, but if you really enjoy the movie and you enjoy Christopher Nolan's other films, this set is obviously the way to go. I've mentioned that in the past. However, the prestige here, it really doesn't do it. Uh, it's a great film, don't get me wrong. It looks great in 4K, but in comparison to the other movies that are in this set, it's definitely the worst. Anyway, I'm Andrew Cavanaugh. Thank you for coming back to the Cavanaugh's Corner. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.